In this drama inspired by the real-life Fletcher Street stables, 15-year-old Cole is taken to live with his estranged father, Harp, in North Philadelphia. There, he discovers the city's vibrant urban cowboy subculture, which has existed for more than 100 years, providing a safe haven for the neighborhood despite the surrounding poverty, violence, and encroachment of gentrification. First of all, this movie is a dud. It is well-intentioned with an interesting premise which deserves better than its paper-thin and trope-filled script, along with atrociously shaky and lens flare filled cinematography. Technically and narrative-wise, this bold story is let down by impoverished filmmaking. The cowboy aspect of the story is far more interesting than the archetypal drug-induced coming-of-age side. It's extremely hammy in its theatrics of straining relationships, also in its stereotypical and overdramatic plot point of shady friend or family. It's clear that there was purpose in the filmmaker's intentions, yet the movie feels contrived. It lacks any naturalism and focuses entirely on the wrong things. The movie's inconsistent delivery is frustrating to endure. It's adopting a melody of cliches while never defining a consistent structure. The third act feels rushed and thinly conceived. It's a letdown to see a vital concept consistently marred by cliché plot mechanics including a distant father-son dynamics that lacks authenticity. Every narrative beat in father and son's relationship arrives minutes or hours after you've guessed the whole familiar yarn, and it makes you wish the film belonged more to the horses and their real riders. The moments that shine come from the real-life cowboys, they deserve so much better. Unfortunately, it suffers from being background to a rather generic and aloof coming-of-age story that is the film center. Caleb McLaughlin and Idris Elba are a compelling on-screen pair, yet their charismatic performances feel underserved at every turn. The script doesn't give them enough to work with, resorting to obvious tropes and thin dialogue when this story needed something more genuine. In the end, this movie ultimately lands as a missed opportunity.